Mm. <laughs> Fuck y'all niggas. <laughs> wow. Alright, so what you want to do is, with this move, you want to go to the corner. So you can do it on either side of the court. I mainly do it from this side of the court, and it depends on which hand you're using. If you're a left-handed player, or um, just reverse this. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to explain it first before I do it. If you're in the right corner and your player is right-handed, don't hold R2 either. So don't hold R2, and you want to come out towards the wing, tap square, and then push left stick back towards the corner. I don't know if that like, <laughs> I don't know if that made sense. I'm gonna say it again. If you in the right corner and you're a right-handed player, walk out towards the wing or you can jog out towards the wing. And like once you get to like round, around the wing area, like right here, once you get to like right here, I don't think you can do it once you get out this far, but I know you can do it when, like if you around this area right here. So once you once you walking back out towards this way, tap square, push back, push left stick back towards the corner, like while you tapping square, and you should get the animation. I say at least eight times out of ten, seven times out of ten. Sometimes it triggers a regular hop jumper, but most of the time you gonna get that spin back to the corner, and you can do it from mid range too. I would suggest that you learn it from mid range before you try to go for threes with it. Yeah, I, I was trying it with threes. You feel me now? In this corner. You gotta do it, it's basically the reverse. So instead of you coming out the corner and then coming to the wing and then pushing back to the corner, on this side, you gotta go from the corner. I mean, you gotta go from the wing, walk towards the corner and then push back towards the wing after you tap square. And this move is a kill move too. Like as you've seen at the beginning of the video, in one of the clips, the dude that was guarding me had a 94 perimeter defense. And I was I basically shot over him. It was like a 30% contested. You want to walk from the wing, go towards the corner, push back. Oh, see, sometimes you're gonna get just a regular step back. There you go. I got finally got it to trigger. You feel me? <laughs> I don't know what was going on, but yeah, you just do that. And now, now she doing it every time. You feel me? Don't hold R2 on this side of the court. You want to walk out towards the wing, tap square, and push your left stick back towards the corner. And not eight times out of ten, you should get the spin. But I say it's probably like a seven times, seventy percent chance you're gonna get it on this side, or a sixty percent chance. But on the other side, I say it's like an 80, 85 percent chance you're gonna get it every time. But that's how you do the move. Hey, hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Like if you appreciate the tutorial, you feel me? Like let's get straight into the gameplay. Whoa, calm down, Jamal. Don't pull out the nine. nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Converse is on. You ugly dressed nigga. Dressing like a nigga. Mm. <laughs> Moving like, bruh. Green, oh. I like that dicks off of it. I be thinking Isaiah from the cut to the goal. Oh, my fault. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Why they kill them like that? Four from the field. I like that right there. Oh my God! I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. My 94 perimeter, 95 steal. <laughs> I tell you right there, if you don't know how to play defense, no, no stat is gonna help you not, with nothing. Cause you playing better defense with a 51 than he is with a 94. <laughs>
Fuck y'all niggas. <laughs> wow. Ninety four perimeter. Get right back. Way to get the steel. Nice whole body scap. I'm trying to cut the block out of this new line. Mm mm, could it come back? <laughs> Get a boy worth fuck, nigga. Oh, uh, Lord. Nigga, shut up, bitch. Mm hmm, trees, me. Nah. Uh, Isaiah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, calm down, Jamal. Don't pull out the nine. <laughs> <laughs>